can here. Hey! Are you done investigating the crime scene? So, so do you know who the culprit is? No. No, this might actually be the crime scene. This might not actually be the crime scene. Yes, injuries in the virtual world can, can be fatal in the real world. Meaning that there's a possibility that she was killed in the virtual world. Which means the next area to investigate should be... Oh, I see. The virtual world. We should go there again. Huh? See? I just read your mind, didn't I? I did, right? 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 Got it. If that's the case, then I'm coming too. Oh? Oh, great, he's coming. You must really like me. Ugh. Say whatever you want. I don't have time to waste on you. Yeah. If we go back to the virtual world, we might find some new clues. With those, I might be able to clear my name. Um... Uh, may I join you as well? I also think we should investigate the virtual world again. All right. Why don't we all go? Yeah. So I get to be that avatar again? What? Huh? Did, did you actually like that avatar after all? Well... I'm going to stay here. He's still in the middle of analyzing the program. Hmm. Going to search this place some more. There's no time to be sleeping. Uh... That's not what we're... Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'll stay here too. Huh? What? Mm -hmm. Surprised? Are you gonna get lonely without your partner? My bad. But I'm too. I'm busy too, you know. I have to watch Maki in case she tries to do something deceitful. Huh? Deceitful? See? Well, you and Kaito are pretty close, so you might do something deceitful for him, right? Thank goodness. Good thing Gonta's here with me. Your glare is too scary to handle alone. Gonta would risk his life to protect me from a murderer. Huh? Love that response. Hey! If you keep saying messed up stuff like that, I'm gonna kick your butt into orbit. All right, already. It's fine. Just ignore him and hurry to the virtual world. Uh, okay. Kaito, let's just focus on solving the case for now. <laughs> fine. Thank I like him too, goodness. Doki. A lot of her sprites are very cute. So are Maki's. Thank God. I don't have. I don't like violence. The ultimate supreme leader would rather sneak around. So that means. Anyway, I'll leave the virtual world to you, Shuichi. Yeah. But I'm not exaggerating when I say this class trial can only be solved by you, okay? Your talent can save the useless people here, you know? What? What are you calling useless? I told you. Enough. Um. Kaito, let's go. Kaito, Kibo, Himiko, Tsunugi, and I prepared to enter the virtual world. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought, Oshawa. It's a gigantic Xbox. And look at the ring ring of death is already there. <laughs> we picked up our helmets once again, sitting in the same seats as before. Uh, so the red cord goes in the right side and the blue cord in the left, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Is it? Right is the hand I hold my chopsticks with. I gotta be sure to get it right. Himiko said that when she went in last time. If you're that worried, why don't you use one that's already set up? We place the devices on our heads. Oh gosh, is somebody else going to die too? And flip the switch. Link, starto! Welcome to the Neo World program for high school. Doki, you have a very weird thing to hope for. Great, huh? It's my avatar. Look, my avatar. Um. So you liked it after all. You know. So we're back here. One hundred percent. Apparently, we always arrive in this room when we log in. Mm. You said that logging in and out isn't possible unless we're in this room. Huh? Then how did I get logged out while I was on the rooftop? Okay. Yes, yeah, so we need to investigate that area too. What should we do? First, we're gonna check Mew's avatar, right? That's right. I think her avatar is still steer, still near the chapel. Then let's head out to the chapel. Yeah. Well, you only cared about one person, Doki, and she's already dead. I really actually want to go to the roof. 
Uh, I should check the map before heading to chapel. Yeah, dining hall's on the left, and that's where uh, Tsumugi heard the sound. Check the map of the mansion first. First floor this has a salon, dining room, kitchen, and bathroom. Second is the roof. We split up when looking for the secret of the outside world. Kokichi had the salon, Smoogie had the dining hall, Kaito had the roof, and Gonta the outside. Yeah, I think they loop. Even the rock formations line up pretty much on the right and left side. Entire map virtual world, the world is surrounded by walls in all four directions. There's a loading point in the middle, so the map is split in two. No sight or sound can pass through the map's loading point. To get from the mansion to the chapel, you have to go through this point. You also have to cross the river that runs parallel to it. That's how this world was designed. It's strange, I feel though there's some secret to this. Yeah, okay, I think the, so the river loops at the very least. Hmm. This map was made by Mew. Is that what's bothering me? Hey, Suichi. I understand. Looking at maps makes you feel calm, doesn't it? Huh? Hmm. You're the type of kid who stares at maps alone instead of playing at recess, aren't you? No. Uh, I never did anything like that. Shuichi! Don't forget we're here for you, bro. Indeed. You're not alone anymore. That's fine. You don't need to withdraw into a shell, you know? Hmm. I'm so proud of you. You made friends with real people, not maps. That's wrong. I'm investigating. Just invest. Can we go to a roof first? No, they're going to make me go to the chapel first. Uh, Shuichi, can you please come with me? What happened? I found something strange. I don't know if it's related to the case, but I want to hear your opinion regardless. It's right this way. Yeah, there was toilet paper on the ground. This is toilet paper, right? Why would it be in a place like this? That's right. It's cold here. Huh? Which means... My initial thought was that someone may have come here to defecate. No. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think that that's it. I don't think avatars have bowel movements. I don't have to go at all. Huh? I did not realize that. That never occurred to me, as I did not need to expel solid waste in the real world. I'm sorry. Ah! Uh, wait! But... It's still strange. Why would toilet paper be here in the first place? Could this be related to the case? Toilet paper! Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe sound can travel through here? No. Hmm. I'm confused. I. Ugh. I'm sure it'll make sense later. So, hey, is it the signboard that Mew threw into the river? Whoops, my hand slipped. <laughs> you know, it's not some other signboard, right? She said there's only one of them. No, it's definitely the same. I brought back the one that was stuck on the rocks in the river. Ah, ah, so that's what happened. But, but there's something bothering me. The rocks that the signboard got caught up on weren't on the chapel side of the map. They were on the mansion side. What about that bothers you? I just got washed from the chapel to the mansion, right? From the chapel to the mansion. That's odd. The flow of the river... Shuichi! Hey, think it over later, bro. Let's get moving. All right, for now, we need to investigate the scene. That's the loading bar. I 
making sure we didn't miss anything. Like a hidden Monokuma in a virtual world. As I thought. The scene of the crime has not been altered since I found her. So... So there's no possibility that someone tried to tamper with the crime scene afterwards. Hmm. That's for sure. It's just like how we left it. I'm pretty confident in my memory. <laughs> I memorized a magic spell that would take a whole year just to chant. What? If you think I'm lying, I could start the chant right now, you know. Unfortunately. Uh, no thank you. I do not think I could wait a whole year. A logged out avatar disappears if the real body dies. That's important. A logged out avatar disappears if the real body dies. So I think she was killed in here. The avatar remains unchanged. Hmm. Actually. Look at all this stuff scattered around. What happened here? Jeez. That's what we're gonna start investigating right now. Isn't that right, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Hammer! This is. A hammer. Why would there be a hammer in this world? I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. You said she deleted dangerous objects. I can't imagine she'd miss a hammer. Was Mew lying? But why would she lie? I wonder if she was planning to try and kill someone. Is this a cell phone? There's cell phones in this world, but what could they be used for? Hmm. No. That's it. It's a phone, so... Hmm. A cell phone. I can't believe there's something like this here. Ah. Oh, Doki Doki, you naive little girl. Kaito, perfect timing. I'd like you to help me out with something. I just want to test something out. Come on, man. Of course. I'll never say no to a favor from my sidekick. Thank you. Thanks. You know. So what do you need me to do? Is that all right? Uh, you don't have to do anything. Just you just have to stand here. Mm -hmm. I just gotta stand here. Kaito Momota. I knew it. You can, as long as you say it into a phone and say the person's name, you can force somebody to log out. So somebody forced Kaito to log out. This can be used to log out, just like the phone in the salon. And this proves it doesn't have to be the person themselves. You just just, just have to say their name. Dark, Dark, how you doing, man, sir? Very happy money to you, too. You can log out anyone you like. All right. See, thanks to Kaido's help, I'm starting to pin this down. The cell phone added. I bet Kaito was pretty surprised when he logged out all of a sudden. Hmm. I should apologize for that later. So, the people who could have logged him out would have been Kokichi or Mew. Apparently. Is this a, a piece of lattice? Why is this here? Yeah, this is a mysterious object. Uh, um. It's a wooden mat. It used to be common in bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see anything like it at the chapel. Where did it come from? Not from the chapel. Why is it here? Yeah. Yeah. I figured out with my magic. Huh? You did? I see. Maybe someone used that instead of the signboard to cross the river. <laughs> that someone is the culprit. No. Uh, I don't think so. The river's current is pretty fast. Even if you did use it to cross, there's no reason it would be here. Uh. I know. I know that. I was just testing you. Why would you want to test me? Yeah. Yeah. But what does this mean? What's something like this doing here? I'm not positive why this lattice is left here, but... I'm sure that it must have something to do with the case. 
Peace out, Doki. Have a spiftastic rest of your night, madame. Madame. Lattice near chapel. Mew's avatar is frozen, collapsed in the snow. A logged out avatar disappears, but if the real body dies, the avatar remains. Don't worry, we'll, we'll bring Mew's killer to justice. Otherwise, we can't progress through the game. Makes sense for a killing game simulator. If the body disappeared, we couldn't investigate. Hmm. The avatar never shows injuries, so they stay the same. She still looks almost alive. But... Well done, Oshawott. Her face is pretty pretty here, isn't it? It's hard to believe she's dead. Uh, okay. Muse avatar has been added to the truth voice. Um, um What's wrong, Kibo? Is something bothering you? Well I just remembered something. I think the whispering I heard overheard might be relevant to the case. Uh, um, That's a good point, Dark. Her body will be here forever. You heard whispering. Yes. I did not intend to eavesdrop, but I did hear it. Shortly before we gathered at the chapel and dispersed to begin searching. Oh yeah, before we split up, I want to ask you something, Mew. Oh yeah, the, the whis mm. they whispered and then we split up. It would seem Kokichi and Mew had made plans to meet each other. Blade, happy Monday, sir. Glad to know you're safe. Huh? And I know why. Thanks for letting us the heads up. Meet each other. Yes. Kokichi was confirming the specific place they were supposed to meet. I couldn't hear the whole conversation, but I'm certain the rooftop was mentioned. Then... Those two met on the rooftop? Well... But it's strange, right? If they were planning to meet on the mansion's rooftop. Why did Mew volunteer to search the area around the chapel? You're right. That is true. If they were meeting on the roof, she would have wanted to search the mansion. This makes me think that either Kokichi or Mew forced Kaito to log out so they could meet on the roof. Maybe that's why there's toilet paper off the side? Thank you, Blade. Hmm. Hmm. Either way, she shouldn't have been able to get to the rooftop. She was searching the area around the chapel, which is where we found her avatar. And with no bridge to cross the river, she could not have gone from the chapel to the mansion. Hmm. That's true. Something is strange about all of this. Okay, I finished my investigation of this area. Shuichi! Now, it would seem that we're finished investigating this place. Okay. Yeah, there's something I wanted to ask. Can our avatars hide objects? Uh... Uh, it seems you can just put stuff in your clothes here, too. Just like the real world. Hmm. I see, just like the real world. Yeah. Yeah. So what are we going to do next? Are we going back to the real world already? Oh. Uh, before that, there's one more place I have to investigate. The mansion rooftop. As I thought. Very well then. The place Mew and Kokichi were supposed to meet. The place Kaito logged out. I'm positive it has something to do with this case. There should be clues there. Uh. I don't really get it, but if you want to investigate, then let's go do that, Shuichi. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, Dark. Appreciate it, sir. Um... Shuichi, everyone is counting on you, including myself. Shuichi! Please give the class trial everything you've got and see us, see us through to the end. And I'll do my best as well, of course. And I as well. I can at least do that. I'm a detective, after all. Can we go in here, though? Nope. No exploring unless it's the thing the game wants you to do. Did we already get everything up here? I think we did. I thought we'd see, like, um, if Mew got maybe pushed off the roof. 
then we'd see like a, a thing in the snow on the rooftop. I guess not. Because she would have had to have been, if she was on the roof, she would have fallen off to the left. Which is where the dining hall is. Which is where Tsumugi saw her. Shuichi! What was that all about? Sorry. Uh, Kaito, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you could log out using the cell phone. Jeez. Then tell me first. That was bad for my heart. I got suddenly got logged out. I panicked and rushed back here. Uh, okay. Sorry. Stop it. Come on now. That's enough. Don't interfere with the investigation. No. I wasn't... Wait, why did you guys come back here? Did you finish investigating? Uh, um... I wanted to investigate the rooftop next. Hmm? Hmm? What's important about the rooftop? Was it me with the chapel the whole time? We found her on the ground next to it. Oh. Now, now, let's believe in Shuichi's reasoning. It'll be okay. Shuichi can do it for sure. He's the ultimate detective. Hmm... Uh, Michaela, happy Monday. And yes, we just started the stream with the investigation. We found Mew dead in her chair when we entered the game. Or as we were in the game, we found her dead body when we came out. So this is us investigating how she was killed. If you're going to be like that, then do whatever you want. Investigate the rooftop or whatever. But Shuichi is my sidekick. In other words, his deductions are my deductions. And my deductions are his. Hey now! What are you, some credit-stealing bully? I mean... Well, I I'm gonna investigate Mew's avatar since I got interrupted last time. Sorry. Sorry. Well then. Let's go to the rooftop. Yeah! Hope everyone had a great start to the week, by the way. Mine is already ridiculously tiring. And I'll be trying to learn some part-time work tomorrow uh, morning through like a that I can do here at home which is good uh, for like a few hours in the morning ish would you give me time to rest and then to come back and uh, do the stream for you guys so hopefully I'll get some you know grocery money <laughs> Mew and Kokichi were supposed to meet on this very rooftop and the person in charge of searching this area Kaito was forcibly logged out that's true this area must have something to do with the case might not be directly connected to this case, but I should inspect those binoculars. I can see this that this building is on top of a hill. And I can see past I can't see past this point because of the map loading point. But that is strange. Why would the map loading point be right in the middle of the world? Hmm. Something doesn't seem right. Hmm. Storage room. It's a little different than how I remember. I feel as if something is missing. The lattice came from here. I think that was on the floor before. And wasn't there more toilet paper? It feels as if something is missing, but I wasn't paying close attention the, for the first time, so I don't remember. Hmm. So I think the lattice was here. Uh, that may or may not be toilet paper right there. Hmm. Hmm. What's wrong, Amiko? Okay. When murders happen in a mansion in the snow like this, there are always locked room mysteries created by a pile by piled up snow. Isn't that right? But it's disappointing that you can't leave the footprints on the snow in this world. Oh. If you can't leave footprints, then you can't leave streak marks off the roof. Is that something to be disappointed about? Hmm. Um, Kibo, did you find anything? Hmm. This is difficult. Uh, there's some, nothing here that seems to be re to resemble a clue. But Mew should have arranged to meet with Peach Kokichi here. I thought we could at least confirm whether or not she really came to the rooftop. But unfortunately, there are no clues which indicate that. Did Mew ever come to the rooftop? That is an important question. Hey! Hey, Kibo, I wanted your opinion on something. Do you think you could get up and down from the roof from the outside of the mansion? Well... Uh, no, that would be very difficult. Hmm. 
Uh, this rooftop is rather high. Uh, even the edge of the roof is roughly the height of a three, three to four story building. You're right. Yes, certainly too high to jump. As I thought. Which means you would have, it would have been impossible to climb up from the outside. That means that the only way to this rooftop is the stairs. Uh... Let's see. I see. Hey. What's wrong, Tsubugi? Um... Look at the doorknob. It's locked. Oh. oh, it is. It's a thumb turn knock. Easy to lock. But... It seems like you can't lock it unless you're on the outside. And look, the keyhole is on this side of the door. Isn't it us usually the other way around? No. Not necessarily. I've seen this before. It's preventing you from locking yourself out. I see. Is that so? This rooftop has a lock on the door. That is important information. I've inspected everything here. All that's left now is... Oh, Maki came in. What's up, girl? <sighs> there you are. I was looking for you. Huh? Why are you here? I thought you were analyzing the program. I told you. Monotaro finished analyzing the program, so he told me to gather everyone. Hmm. He finished. Shuichi! We should probably head back then. Our investigation here is pretty much done, right? Okay. You're right. I've investigated everything I needed to. Shuichi! Well then, we'll head back first. I don't wanna. I don't wanna say goodbye to my avatar. Uh... It's just as cute as I am. Do you like it that much? Then... We should go, too. Hey! What's wrong? You... Well, you're definitely more reliable in a class trial than out. All the others think so, too. Huh? What? Well... I'm not trying to sound like Kaito, but... I don't think you should carry all the burden alone. Hmm... You're Shuichi Suihara. Before you're a detective. Don't ever forget that. <sighs> well, I shouldn't be talking. I threw away my identity as Maki Hurakawa to be an assassin. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. Maki Shai Waifu. Was she being considerate just now? And I don't know by who you saying who said yes. Oh, Oshawa said yes. Oh. Shuichi? Um, I don't think he was asked a question to say yes or no to. Couldn't I have just used the uh, cell phone that I had in my pocket? Uh, um... It's just you and me. Uh, we should log out, too. By the way... Uh, did something happen between you and Kaito? Huh? What? Well... When he logged out a little while ago, he looked like he was in a bad mood. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's probably my fault. Well... He's simple, just apologize. Yeah. Uh, um... Ah. Hey guys! Nobody else died! Success! I pulled the device off my head and the real world appeared before me. Shuichi! Well, Shuichi, isn't the real world way better than some virtual reality? Hmm. Anyway, I felt so lonely without you around. Apologize for making me feel unloved. Hey! Uh, there's something I wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. I totally didn't draw anything on your tummy while you were logged in, okay? Huh? What? It's a lie. I'm kidding. It's a lie! Freaking love to hate him. I'm just... Nah, I'm kidding. So, uh, what is it you wanted to ask? Is that alright? You planned to meet Mew on the roof, right? Did you end up meeting her? Oh, so you know about that, Shuichi. Impressive, Mr. Ultimate Detective. Okay. Then I'll tell you what happened. I never met up with Mew. I couldn't get to the rooftop because it was locked. Huh? Locked. Um... After, I gave up and went back to the salon to search for the secret of the outside world. Um... 
Is that true, Kokichi? Mm -hmm. Are you doubting me? That's... Can someone verify that you were at the salon the entire time? Did you meet anyone there? Hmm. No, I don't have a witness. Right? But you can also say there's no witness who can prove I wasn't there. Hey! This kind of logic. Unless you saw the salon empty yourself. Anyway. Well, it's up to you whether you want to believe me or not. Shuichi! But you shouldn't doubt me like that. We're partners! Which one is it? Did Kokichi meet with Mew or not? Is he lying or telling the truth? Which is it? That's this entire game is figuring out when Kokichi is lying. Very well could have been him. Monotaro, what you got for me, bro? Hey! Been waiting for you! I'm sure Maki already told you, but I finally finished analyzing the program. Okay. I'm starting to put together a lot of important facts, so here they are. He is really trying to be our friend. A little bit, at least. So. First, the person who tampered with this program was... Mommy, like we suspected. Hmm. Mommy has an eccentric way of writing her code, so I knew it was her right away. Oh. I guess her personality wasn't the only eccentric thing about her. Got a minute? So, what did she tamper with? Um, a few things, but I'll share the first one with you. So. It looks like Mommy deleted a lot of objects from this killing game simulator. Hmm. She said she was, that she deleted anything that could be used as a weapon. But in that case, why is there a hammer? Okay. That's true. Only the hammer was left. Why was it left? Hmm? The way the program was written makes it seem like she did it on purpose. On purpose. Then... Did she add anything? We found a cell phone in the virtual world. Mm. No, that cell phone was an original feature on the program. That implies Mew hid that fact from us. Which means... Um. All Mommy added were the two maps. The rest were already part of the program. By the way... Uh, while we're talking about objects, I wanted to ask you something. We used the signboard to cross the river, but could we have used something else as a bridge? Mm. Mm, I didn't really see anything that could have been used as a bridge to cross the river. So only the signboard could have been used as a bridge. Mm. Now, what's the next thing she tampered with? Okie dokie! Well, it looks like she also tampered with certain parameters of the program. Um. Everything in the program is categorized as either human or non-human object. Of course, everyone's avatar was assigned the human parameter. Really? But for some reason, Mommy gave her avatar the non-human object parameter. That's... And what happens when you become an object? Hmm. Well, the difference is only for identification purposes, so it probably didn't affect... Oh! No, hold on. I might be... For I'm remembering this differently, but I don't think people can go in the river, so does that mean she could have gone in the river? Well... Hmm. But if it didn't affect anything, then why would she have gone out of her way to do that? Ah. Perhaps it has something to do with the next thing she tampered with. So. Mommy added a wall that didn't originally exist in the program. Um. The coordinates of the virtual world are represented on an X and Y axis. Um, I guess she could dark, use herself as a bridge, but she had the lattice. She could have used the lattice to make the bridge. But if I'm remembering that rule properly, people can't go in the river, but since she's an object, she could go in the river. So she could swim potentially between the chapel and the um, mansion. And now we're going back to geometry. And it seems Mommy added a wall that runs the length of the y-axis. Huh? She created an additional wall? There were walls in all four directions, and two down the y-axis. So she added a loading one for no hey. reason. Are you positive there was only one? Okay. Yeah, definitely the only one. What does that mean? 
Which wall was the one Mew added? Probably the loading one? What was the world like originally? Mew said there has, wasn't anything past the wall. Hmm. Was that another lie? So does that mean she added the squiggle down the middle? That's all I can think of. Um, also, it looks like the extra wall was given a special setting. A setting that allows non-human objects to pass through it. 